Hello, grade 11. Welcome to math class. I am Sahar, I will be your math teacher. I'm going to start from the first chapter, which is geometry. We will talk about relation, dimensions, area, circle, vectors, edge, all of them. So I'm going to start from the first subject, which is 3D coordinate system. 3D means three dimensions. We have to know why it's important. Why learn this? You can participate in education and outdoor treasure hunting game by using three dimensional coordinates to pinpoint location on Earth. So, we are talking about GPS. A global positioning system, I mean GPS, gives us locations using the three coordinates of latitude, longitude, and elevation. So, you can represent any location in three dimensional space using a three dimensional coordinate system, sometimes called coordinate space. So, each point in coordinate space can be represented by an order triple of the form x, y, z. So you have order triple. It means you have three variables x, y, z. If you just have x and y, it's going to be order pair. But if you have z with them, it's going to be order triple. So both of them are similar, but the system is similar to the coordinate plane, but has an additional coordinate based on the z-axis. Also, we have important point here, which is origin. Origins mean you have intersection between three axes. So that's z-axis, y-axis, and x-axis. X-axis is opposite. For example, that's positive x, that's neg negative x. Z, negative z. Y and negative y. So we have intersection between all of them, which is origin. Origins mean all of them are equal to zero. So our order triple is zero, zero, zero. X is zero, Y is zero, and Z is equal to zero. So we have an example. Graphing points in three dimensions. Graph the following point on an X, Y, Z plane, two, three, negative four. So that's x, y, and negative 4. Where's x axis? That's x axis, negative x, and that is positive x. So 2 from here, 1, 2. That's 2, okay? And 3, where? y axis. That's y axis. going to be on y axis. So for example, 1, two, three, okay, so we're gonna be here. And negative four, negative four on z-axis. Where z, z axis, that's z, z axis. And it's, you have negative, the sign of negative, so it's gonna be here, okay? For example, one, two, three, four, okay? That's four. So it's not straight line, okay? You have plan. So recall that the graph of a linear equation in two dimension is straight line, okay? So if you have just have x and y, it's gonna be straight line. But if you have x, y, then it's different, how? So in three dim dimensional space, the graph of a linear equation is a plane because a plane is defined by three points. You can graph a linear equation in three dimensions by finding the three intercepts, okay? so. Now I'll explain intercept. We have x intercept, y intercept, z intercept. It mean, means x axis, y axis, and z axis. So x axis, that means you have to find the value of x. How to find the value of x? So y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. So if you have y equal to 0 and z equal to 0, that means you have to find the value of x. If x equal to 0 and z equal to 0, you have to find the value of y. That means y intercept. Z intercept 
x and y are zero and you have to find the value of z so we have an example okay graphing linear equation in three-dimensional space so graph the linear equation 3x plus 4y plus 2z equal 12 what's equal 12 in three-dimensional space so the first step you have to find intercepts okay how you have x intercepts y intercepts and z intercepts how to find x intercepts when y and z are equal to zero okay so if y and z are equal to zero let me write it Look, before that, we have 3x plus 4 multiply 0 plus 2 multiply 0 equal 12. How? So, 3x plus 4y plus 2z, the place of y is going to be 0. Okay, we will put 0. And place of z is going to be 0. Why? Because z is equal to 0. Any number, any variable, anything multiplied by 0 is going to be 0. So, 4 multiply 0 is 0. And to multiply 0 is 0. So we get 3x, we get 3x equal 12, okay? So what we will do? Divided both sides by 3, okay? So 3 divided by 3, you can cancel 3 by 3, it's going to be 1. And 12 divided by 3 is going to be 4. Why 4? Because 4 multiplied by 3 is going to be 12. Now, you have to find order triple, okay? So, the place, the first one is always x after that y after that z. The place of x is 4 because we get 4. And y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. So that's our point when, when it's x intercept. Okay, we have y intercept. If you have y intercept, that means x and z are zero. So the place of x and z, you will put zero, okay? So three multiply zero and two multiply zero. Any number, anything multiplied by zero is going to be zero. So three multiply zero is zero and two multiply zero is zero. And four y plus zero is the same. So you're going to write four y equal 12. Okay, so divided both sides by 12. Sorry, by four, because the coefficient of y is four. So y should be alone divided both sides by 4. You can cancel 4 by 4. It's going to be y. That means you have 1 here. And 12 divided by 4, you will get 3. Okay? After that, you have to write your point. x is 0. The first value is always 0. And you have y is 3. Okay? And z is 0. y is 0 because it's y intercept. So it's if it's x intercept, x axis, you have to find the value of x. If it's a y axis, you have to find the value of y, okay? So now you have z intercept, okay? Z intercepts mean x equal to zero and y equal to zero. So the place of x and y will be zero, okay? Three multiply zero, zero. Four multiply zero, it's gonna be zero. So we get two z equal 12. 2z equal 12. So divided both sides by 2. Why 2? Because the coefficient of z is 2. And it should be 1. So 2 divided by 2 is going to be 1. Or you can say 2 cancelled by 2. And 12 divided by 2, you will get 6. So now you have to write your point x and y are zero, 0 and z 6. Now you have to 
find the graph, you have three points. All you have to do is plot them on the graph, okay? And you will get you'll get this graph, okay? Look, you have three points. The first one is 400 zero, zero on x-axis and that z-axis, zero, zero, 006, and that's y-axis. So you will get this graph when you plot them. Now, you have some exercise, you have to do it, okay? The first one, graph each point in three-dimensional space. A, negative three, negative two, one. You're gonna write your axis, you have three axes, Z, Y, and X, okay? Negative three, where's negative three? Okay, it should be on negative X. That should be negative Y and positive Z, okay? B, you have zero, zero, two, okay? And C, negative one, two, and four, okay? So graph each linear equation in three-dimensional space. Look, A, you have x plus y plus z equal to three. B, you have five x negative two y negative four z equal to 10. Or five x minus two y minus four z equal 10, okay? So how to find a graph if you have three variables and all of them are undefined? So you don't know what this value of x and value of y and value of z. So by intercept, I mean x axis, y axis, and z axis. If it's x axis, y and z are zero. If it's y axis, it's gonna be x is gonna be zero and z zero and the same for z. So you have to find intercepts and put them on the graph, okay? And if you have any question about the subject, don't hesitate for any moment and call me. And bye-bye.